guys. Hello. Sam and Victor here. Welcome back to our channel. As you can see, today we are not shooting in our regular location at home in Hong Kong. Today we are actually in Tokyo. We landed this morning on a red-eye flight from Hong Kong. Yeah, super tired right now. Yeah. Um, so apologies if we look super haggard and a bit low energy. Um, but we are here in Tokyo to shoot cherry blossom, sorry, to experience cherry blossom season. We were shooting last year also in Tokyo, yeah. but I felt like it was such a manic, frantic pace that we weren't actually experiencing and weren't enjoying ourselves. So this year we, along with taking some pictures, we also want to just be enjoying the moment. Yeah. So as you can see here, we are actually at the end of Tokyo. We just checked in, um, but we'll show you a little bit more of our suite later. Yeah. Just to clarify though, this video is not a comparison between a hotel versus an Airbnb. Yeah. It'll not be a, trip a video based on how we, as photographers, content creators, choose where to stay depending on the purpose of this trip. Mm -hmm. So for Tokyo, we're shooting Cherry Blossom, so we'll show you three spots. First one will be hotel, and then Airbnb, and then a real can of Mount Fuji. But yeah. first, Q and B roll of this room. blogger I would say this is like the perfect place for you or if you want to splurge on luxury hotel and a Tokyo is perfect because there's beautiful views of Tokyo Tower we got a beautiful breakfast spread really great service in regards to location though it is a little removed from the business uh, because it is in the business district and it is close to like Ginza for shopping and it's a 15 to 20 minute walk from the Hiei Shrine if you're looking to do a tour gates shot that is not Kyoto, but at least you don't have the lines. So yeah, I think we're gonna head off to our next location, Chiyoda River, to take some Sakura pictures. Let's go. Airbnb. This is the living room, the kitchen, the bedroom, everything all in one. And then we have our washroom here, which is a perfectly one installation of a plastic box. <laughs> and so you pee and poo while you shower. Isn't it awesome? Hey, pee and poo while you shower. We are here now in the cozy Airbnb. It's quite tiny and small and just very compact and Japanese style, but that's fine because we're here to sleep only. We're not here to you know, shoot the room or do any lifestyle pictures of the hotel. Um, so last year we stayed here also in Nekamaguro. It's the river full of cherry blossoms that everyone comes to shoot. And since Airbnb changed their policy this year, well, we're staying in kind of a service apartment slash Airbnb. Um, that's fine because we're only here to shoot and we're not here to sleep in a nice hotel room. Got my coffee, we're in Nakamaguro now, in a very convenient slash very trendy part of town. It's uh, the river that I'm going to shoot, the cherry blossoms, and I think we're going to have a good day today. Let's go. Morning. 
So I think one of the things that we wanted to share with you guys is that a lot of, I guess, Instagrammers, influencers, photographers, content creators, etc. They really like to show their glamorous hotel side, which we love to do too. You mean, I mean, like I always show all the nice fancy hotels that we shoot for and our partners. But we also want to show you, I guess, the more realistic side, which is other places that we would consider to stay and actually do pay money to stay at. Um, this Airbnb I booked, um, it's actually a, re um, a service apartment. It was about 700 Hong Kong dollars a night, which is like almost 100 USD. I thought it was a decent price because, granted, we're not <clears throat> Sorry, uh, we're not actually staying in the Airbnb that much. We're usually out and the great thing about this Airbnb is that it's only two minutes away from Nakameguro station and only five minutes away just literally across the road from the river with the beautiful blooms. So it's great because a lot of our favorite cafes and our favorite like chain restaurants are here so we love to like walk to soup stock and get breakfast and on the way there we get to enjoy the hanami and then after breakfast you know you take a stroll and take pictures so we really think that we won't be spending that much time in our hotel i mean we do show the instagram side which is you know all the beautiful hotel rooms with the you know that andas lifestyle but we also love also staying at these airbnbs which really get, get us snappy photo opportunities yeah, so we'll, we're gonna check out now and head to Mount Fuji to experience a traditional Japanese video pen experience. What's up guys, it's chilly AF right now, but uh, we are at Kawaguchiko Station where Mount Fuji is. Today we're staying at a hotel called Fuji Genkai. We have a room, it's like a western slash Japanese superior room with a beautiful view of Mount Fuji. It's chilly so I'm gonna go inside. One reason why you would choose to stay at a Ryokan is because of the beautiful food that they have. We got a full board that includes breakfast and dinner. And because you won't really wander around outside at Fuji because it's really everything's kind of far away, you would have uh, your food at the hotel. So you can see like the food is quite exquisite. So that's why we decided to also stay our first time at a Ryokan in Fuji. Bon appetit, yo. Itadakimas. Yeah. Sunrise, 5.30 a.m. Got my drone up. So this is our first time stay staying in a Ryokan. We've been to Japan many, many times already, but we decided to change it up because usually we are out taking photos and we never have a chance to take it slow. So this is like an alternative experience for us. It's our first time for a one night trip. I think last time we were here, we were going for like a couple hours and it yeah. was really rushed. We took a bus. Yeah, we didn't really enjoy it because it was so rushed. It was literally get off bus, take a photo, get on bus and leave. Yeah. So, so thanks, this time. yeah, staying here this time is like more enjoyable, it's more relaxing, more slow paced, which is great to just enjoy the scene. And we get to experience a different side of uh, the culture here. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so we showed you three places to stay at in Japan. First it was the hotel, second the Airbnb, it was a very cozy one, and third the real can. 
So we wanted to make this video because I know on our Instagrams we may show a lot of the luxury hotels. So we wanted to paint a broader picture of other places that we stay at sometimes that we don't highlight on our yeah. feeds and uh, depending on your content needs or whether it's for work or for leisure so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please comment down below if you want more of this type of content like and subscribe see you next one bye, bye.